the South Bronx, the borough that gave birth to hip hop. There's a militarized police department that is ready to attack the people. Some people have taken the streets, they've shut down the highway. There's an understanding that when the planet wins, the people win too. Don't stop. Amor, justicia, hip hop, revoluciones. So BYP 100, which stands for the Black Youth Project 100, is this really dope national organization of young black activists. Black, black, black Since 2013, uh, BYP 100 has been building a national membership base that engages in direct action organizing, um, which absolutely includes uh, civil disobedience, uh, public policy advocacy, where we not only advocate for the things that we think should happen, we create what we believe should happen, be it public policy agendas, blog posts, videos, tweets. We put out into the world the kind of vision that we see for black liberation. Chicago-based Black Youth Project 100 introduces their agenda to build black futures. The agenda is a set of public policy goals that young folks can organize around and build in their local communities. Joining us to talk about that is the National Director of the Black Youth Project 100, Charlene Carruthers. I'm fortunate enough to serve as the National Director of BYP 100, which essentially means that um, I work with our members every single day around leadership development, um, strategic planning, and also communications to make sure that the story that we tell about BYP 100 um, is tied into a broader movement narrative. And even how people talk about social justice, particularly in the United States, is much broader than some vanilla image of what social justice is, some kumbaya image, but one that actually looks towards creating systems of accountability and restorative and transformative methods of justice. Fire! Fire! We have chapters in the Bay Area, Chicago, Washington, D.C., New Orleans, New York City, uh, Detroit, and we're really committed to continuing to build in southern cities and southern states over the next year. Because for us, when we think about black liberation, it doesn't just happen in a corner here or a corner there. It has to be radically inclusive and include all types of black folks in that process. Obviously, the deaths of Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown have galvanized national attention in critically important ways. But it's also true that in this moment, we have lost Renisha McBride. When we look McBride. back to uh, black liberation movements before this particular moment, uh, we can't even think about what they are without considering the work of uh, black lesbian women in the Combahee River Collective. I mean, we can go as far back as Harriet Tubman. Uh, she didn't have to identify as a feminist, but she, she was a black woman who not only brought folks who were enslaved from the South up to the North, she led a successful front in the Civil War. And thinking about folks like Bayer Rustin, um, Dr. Dorothy Height, the name, the lists go on and on and on, but really at the root. When we say black queer feminism, it's about making sure that uh, our definition, our understanding of blackness and the experiences aren't limited to straight black cisgender men. And what our leadership looks like is not just, we got a woman in leadership, but it's someone who believes in Ella Baker's model of group-centered leadership. We have to continue to move to the edges and the margins and go outside of what the norm is to make sure that our movement is radically inclusive of all black people. We actually haven't gotten a ton of opposition from, at least outward opposition, right? From people of color and from white folks that our space is black because as we say, we've said over and over again, it's unapologetically black. And so that's how we come into the room. It's not a negotiation. We're not gonna talk about what you think about the fact that we're all black organization. We're not gonna ask you what you think about that. We are, are very honest and upfront that we believe that if we're gonna talk about black liberation, and we meet all kinds of black people, right? There's no one kind of black people. We don't actually mean African American when we say black. We mean blackness in its full in entirety. And it should be black folks who are at the forefront of that work. And not just black for black sake, right? Zora Neale Hurston talked about, you know, all my skin folk are not my kin folk. Who has a critical analysis that is anti-capitalist, that is um, 
working to dismantle anti-black racism wherever it exists. One that is against homophobia and transphobia and isn't rooted in politics of respectability. And so we believe that those are the kinds of black folks who have moved our communities forward and that even while those folks are being marginalized, we have a responsibility to make sure that if we want to create a kind of world where there are no prisons and there are no police and where because you are a black person or because you are a woman or because you're trans or because you're queer, because you're poor, because you are incarcerated, that you can't live within your full dignity, we got to be unapologetic about that. Yeah, rooftop live from St. Louis to Venezuela, Chile, South America. Viva Ferguson, baby. Yeah. 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 Shout out Rebel Diaz. DJ Charlie Hustle, let's go. Life is a gamble, try not go broke. The future of something that you don't know. No deals with the devil, don't bet your soul. Cause one thing's for certain, the dice gon' roll. Roll. No deals with the devil, don't bet your soul. Cause one thing for certain, the dice gon' roll. Water from the tub on the tiles of the bathroom. The higher power, my goddess, in the bedroom. I am not pop, but I'm influenced by his legacy. Nights full of drama with a mouth full of ecstasy. Pistols on the counter of the makeup dresser. My imagination crumbles under made up pressure. Woo! The bigger figure, no nigga bigger than me. Living in war, I reconfigured the peace when I return preaching sermons for the purity. Caught me off guard like fly security. Fucking with a gorilla, I was never sane. Almighty God carries me like an aeroplane. Pea coats and perfume from Haifa. She screaming, free Palestine for life, bruh. We be listening to Drizzy Dre just to get us through. This is how I feel when your hitter is as real as you. P.O.E. The Gambo, try not go broke. The future of something that you don't know. No deals with the devil, don't bet your soul. Cause one thing's for certain, the dice gon' roll, roll. Roll. No deals with the devil, don't bet your soul. Cause one thing's for certain, the dice gon' roll. Born while I Snapchat on the runway. Faster than a speeding bullet, slower than a sun ray. Massive wiki, press the button, then the magic starts. Dead on the inside, like I got a casket heart. Blowing guns up while my niggas follow by the pigs. Born center, leaving dinner, races on a ten. See the goddess, she provided me, and that's why I repent. Ain't nobody fucking body, then your shooters full of piss. In Chicago, with Jeremiah Wright They couldn't kill me, so I bring the fire of the Christ Smoke another one, she trying to feel something I look the devil in the eye until I kill something Is it necessary? I'm that nigga, P.O.E. Got a chopper underneath the mattress, let it lean on me Probably punished for the shit I did through my career Still searching for that motherfucker that murdered Rakeel What? Gambo, try not go broke the future of something that you don't know No deals with the devil, don't bet your soul Cause one thing's for certain, the dice gon' roll 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 No deals with the devil, don't bet your soul Cause one thing's for certain, the dice gon' roll Roll Rooftop live Jeff Po Shout out Rebel Diaz, Rockstar, G1 the whole RDAC crew, it's going down, man. Shout out my man, Portavoir. Peace.